And here it is, a rematch of the teen final from yesterday. Paul took that one and caused himself great harm in doing so. He has the number one seat coming in, Tom Alberti on the top of your screen, and they are off and running. Looks like Paul was able to get up that cargo net faster. Let's see how these wagon wheels affect these competitors. No spin for Paul, that's interesting. And no, no spin, spin for Tom, Tom either. Wow. Great minds think alike, I guess. Yeah. Really, it really benefits you to try to get a spin on that second wheel just for time and energy purposes, but neither were able to utilize it. Both making that pinch grip, you very much like to see that both of them are neck and neck here, making their way through. But look at that, Tom shimmying faster wow. through the boardwalk. Wow. And that no chalk huge. from either competitor. Here we go on the flying Pushing fish. It, man. Pushing it. No Pushing rest it. for the weary, I say. Wow. This is their 10th run of the weekend, and they're not even stopping to rest. Incredible These... stuff. Both shimmying across cliffhanger style. And now who will reach out to Monstro Climb first? It's important to point out that Tom has the slight advantage right now because he reached the Monstro Climb the first. Road, guys. Come on. And he so is they... off and running. Paul, meanwhile, yeah. is going to wait to see what happens. This is very important right now, what happens to Tom. Because it will dictate the rest of Paul's run. Oh, there He's goes Tom! One. So Paul just has to beat this obstacle. He only had 30 seconds to rest, so he's off. There's the jump. He's got that one. This is Mission's where Tom slipped a second ago. He's got to clear the obstacle, reach the rope. That's but all he's starting to run out of on, gas! Grimacing! Last jump! Oh no! no. Neither Tom competitor wins. can complete the monster climb, and that means that Tom Alberti with a jump into the pool to congratulate Paul on a great race. Tom Alberti is your open qualifier winner. Wow. What an effort by these two. Uh, they have run this course so many times, and it's very run. clear just how much it took uh, out of these two competitors. An amazing effort by both of them. Truly a matter of maybe fractions of seconds. They were both neck and neck through girder. But Tom Alberti getting there first just ever so slightly. And that is what turned the tide and reversed what happened yesterday in the team final. And that's the beauty of Gauntlet. You never know what's going to happen. And when two ninjas are putting out their best effort, magic can happen. Tom Alberti has won the open qualifier. Both of these men will be in the closed qualifier. We hope that you look forward to watching these two and many more of your favorite ninjas on the Gauntlet Pro Obstacle Challenge coming soon.